In the Dance with Dragons, through Tyrion's character, we meet a man named John Connington, who's disguised as Griff. He's taken Aegon to Westeros to try to reclaim his throne. But why is he such a strong Targaryen supporter? John Connington is the only surviving son of Armin Connington in Griffin's Roost, located in the Stormlands. As a kid, he was sent to King's Landing to squire alongside Prince Rhaegar Targaryen. There was a close bond that was created, and the two were inseparable. John Connington turned out to be a great warrior, and his connection with Rhaegar Targaryen really helped out when Robert's Rebellion started. The Mad King wanted somebody young and vigorous to take over, so he let go of Owen Merriweather and brought John and Connington to the hand of the king. A lot of people opposed this, even Tywin Lannister, thinking that he was too young. It was his duty to find Robert Baratheon in the Stony Sept, where he was hiding. This led to the Battle of the Bells with Eddard Stark, Oster Tully, and Jon Arryn. It was mostly an urban battle, so most people thought it was good for Jon Connington just to burn down the city. The only thing he wanted, though, was to capture Robert Baratheon. He got overwhelmed by the forces and actually ended up killing Dennis Arryn, who was Jon Arryn's cousin. When he retreated, this upset the Mad King so much that he exiled him to Exos. He gave all of his lands and Griffin's roost to Ronald Connington, his cousin. While in Essos, John Connington joined the Golden Company under Harry Strickland. While he was in the Golden Company, he got in contact with Ario, Mopatis, and Varys to put together the plot with Aegon and bring him back to Westeros. They faked his death in the Golden Company, and since then he's always been with Aegon.